trying to get uh, better and establish some depth. So, uh, you know, we're just going back to basics, getting our fundamentals sound, and trying to get some depth built for the rest of the season. Is the way we saw you use Jason in that, in that global game something you'd like to do regularly, or was that a specific sort of opponent specific? I'd like to get Jason on the field as, as much as I can. You know, he keeps playing well, but I, I want to find a way to get him on the field. What did you see? What were you most pleased about? Like obviously, you said he made, made a few rookie mistakes out there, but what did you like about what he did? Well, he plays physical. He plays uh, you know, with a passion. So he was going to play hard. Just got to get him going in the right direction all the time. What's the biggest thing you have to work with him to get him to be able to stand up successfully? Uh, you know, just the basics of it, you know, what he's looking at, how he gets off the ball, what his assignments are, how he fits certain blocks, just the basics that you have for an outside backer. And when he's got his hand down, you know, sharpening him up on the basics on a, as a DM, too. What percentage of his snaps were each of those things? He obviously played a little bit of both on Saturday. About what was the division of us? Uh, I think he was standing up more, but uh, he had a good amount of snaps with his hand on the ground, too. At what point will you all start preparing for Florida and how extra those extra days, how much do they help? Well, we're always trying to stay ahead of the game, so you know we're preparing for Florida, but we're uh, emphasizing on Kentucky. So every day out here in practice, we're just worried about us and getting better. Is this a sort of unique situation for you guys as a new staff coming into a new league that you do know something about this opponent that you, that you game plan for them? Uh, you know what? Uh, I don't know if it's unique, but it uh, is uh, definitely something that uh, helps you, you know, when you play them before and you're familiar with those type of players and, and, and those coaches. At your comfort level with Haskell's progress along? Uh, he's, coming, he's coming along. Uh, you know, he's got a lot of tools. Um, he's got great instincts. And uh, he's getting better every day. How much progress has that secondary made? And obviously, gave up some plays but was late in that game. It seemed like the defensive backs were the guys that were there trying to make some plays to give you guys a chance. They're playing well, and they're getting better every day. And, you know, we had an emphasis on, you know, giving up deep balls, and we only, I think we only had one that we gave up there. So I think that uh, those guys are getting better every day. Coach, you were able to get a few good stops early on. What can you kind of attribute to that? To, you know, there's one thing to attribute to that hot start. What do you think it would be? Well, I, the biggest thing is just playing on edge and playing with intensity, and you know, having the guys come out there fired up. And, you know, the crowd helped, and and. Uh, I think that you know getting them in the right state of mind is the biggest thing. Statistically, you guys are kind of impressed with some different situations, third downs, pass defense. Are what you're seeing on film is it kind of playing out with what we're seeing? And I guess in the night? <clears throat> yes, we're playing well in certain situations, and we've got to continue to play well in those situations. Um, I think uh, our players um, understand what situations mean and how to play them, and we're going to continue to build on that. It's one of the toughest things you've had to do is try to communicate to your players how intense they need to be for you to be successful. Is that is that a learning process that you, you bang in their heads, but it's not there yet? Sometimes it's there. Uh, you know, we've had spurts where it's there, been there throughout the season, and that's been the the one thing that uh, I've been harping on probably the most since I've been here is just playing with that intensity, playing on edge, and playing that way every day. You mentioned Bill. The fact that uh, perhaps a lot of juice left for defense in mean, those, those first two drives in the second half, is it the reason why you feel like you need a whole lot more depth? I mean, what one of the reasons? Everywhere I've been, I've always felt like I needed more depth, yeah. you know? So I feel the same way here. We need to, you know, be able to play different guys, and, and especially in different situations, so that, that we're playing 100% and on edge every snap. Have you all indicated to the players just how tough the schedule is going to get, or do you think they already know that? We don't worry about the, what's ahead of us. We just worry about who we've got that week. So all we harp on with the players is our opponent for that week and uh, getting better every day and preparing for that point. Are you coaching, are you coaching intensity a lot more this year than you did last year? Uh, I don't know if I'm coaching it more, but um, I'm definitely um, I'm definitely putting an emphasis on it. So we uh, we do what we can to, to, um, to have intense practices and make sure that the players are, are doing not only what they can to make themselves motivated, but what they can do to help other players be motivated to play that way as well. It seemed like there's a significant impact when Dante went out. How, how does it affect you when he's not on the field? Well, Dante's a great player. You know, um, 
he's uh, one of our best defensive tackles. So, you know, when he's not in there, he may not be as stout as we are when he is in there. So that's probably the biggest thing that we miss with him. Well, thank you very much. Let's get to our other coaches.